Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Today I review a fountain pen model I've reviewed quite recently, but this one is in an entirely different configuration that makes it almost a completely new pen. This is the Hongdian N6 piston filler, but with new clothes and a new nib. It's entirely in stealth black, including the nib, which is what Hongdian calls a long knife. We've seen other nibs called long blades, long knives, and I've even seen them called long swords. It's all a rather convoluted and complicated process of Chinese resellers mistranslating the Japanese naginata as referring to swords or blades, which it doesn't. The sailor naginata togi nib is not named after samurai swords, but actually after a particular kind of spear tip. When Chinese resellers translate the kaigalu naginata into Chinese and then into English, it comes out as long blade, long sword, or long knife. To make things even more complicated, this Hongdian long knife isn't even close to being a Naginata Togi type nib. It more closely resembles and behaves like an architect nib. So now that we have our Chinese ducks in a row, okay, now I'm hungry. Let's look at this stealthy black architect pen right now. <laughs> So a short while ago I did a review on this Hongdian N6 piston filler and I quite liked the pen. Um, one of the difficulties with it was that I couldn't find a replacement for that nib and it's very fine. Uh, but then a black version, an all black version with a red ring on it came out and I kind of liked the aesthetic of that because I have this uh, Schaefer icon which has that Kylo Ren thing going with the, the black and the red. And I thought, well, that might be an interesting version to look at. And so I ordered one and it has arrived. And here it is. And let's open it up. And there be the pen. That's some cellophane. And there's the pen. There's the little red line. Okay. And there's a red line at top as well. I think they look very similar. Now that's probably where the similarity ends because there is the very black nib. And that does say Hongdian on there. But the difference and why I might like this pen better is it is a uh, what they call a long blade. And when the Chinese say long blade or long knife it tends to mean it's an architect style and of course it is a piston filler and it posts very nicely playing Franken pen well I'll clean it out ink it up and we will do a review and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen show some size comparisons some measurements and then provide a writing sample after the writing sample please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen. As I mentioned, I've reviewed this model of pen previously, and you can watch that video by clicking right there, I believe. Everything about these two pens is identical except for the finish and the specialty nib. So I'm going to focus on the differences with the gold cap model, but still provide measurements and size comparisons here in this video. Overall, this enamel over brass pen is a cigar shape, and not only is this pen all black, with the exception of these small rings on the top and the bottom, piston up, the surface of the cap and barrel are different in more than just color. The stealth black finish has a satiny kind of a feel to it. I won't say matte because the texture is smooth and almost slippery to the touch, but the cap, barrel, and the section are all in this hazy satiny kind of finish that's technical talk the caps are identical in shape and in the markings the little hieroglyphs i think these are uh, partial chinese characters that's what one of my viewers mentioned and the cap band has the same markings on it stamped into it lt hongdian on the front and the model number and six on the back it would have been cool to have this ring in the same red as the end rings though the cap unscrews 
with one and a half turns to reveal the black satin tapering section a large ink window and a glossy black enamel over steel a long knife nib and black ebonite feed the nib and the feed are friction fit and not part of a nib collar assembly these cap threads here are not sharp at all they're very very smooth and they don't impede your grip this little groove at the end of the section here uh, doesn't serve any purpose other than decorative as far as i can tell but when you dip your pen in the ink it does trap some ink in that groove and so it's a little bit of a pain to get it out of there uh, and if you don't get it out of there you'll get it on your fingers and let's get a closer look at this nib it has engravings identical to the gold model that uh, palace engraving right there uh, Hongdian and the nib size only the black one has an F and then you can just barely make it out there there's a Chinese character there before the F and I would assume that it stands for a uh, long knife the section does not unscrew to access the ink chamber and with an unscrewable nib and feed unit the only way to clean this pen out is to go in through the top by pulling that nib and with an ebonite feed you don't want to be doing that for fear of breaking it the best way is to get one of these little Hongdian wrenches uh, that fit into I'm going to show you on the uninked version here there's two little notches on the base of the piston mechanism right there and there and this little grabber goes right in there and then you can tighten your piston down on top of that wrench and then give it a, a reverse turn to unscrew that piston mechanism and then the piston just just slides right out like that and the piston is a reverse thread and unscrews easily to get inside of the barrel to rinse and clean it out you can get these little wrenches for free when you buy the n6 or this n7 models from sally's etsy shop called easy buy her prices might be a little bit higher than ebay or sometimes even aliexpress but she actually communicates with her customers buy the pen from her and leave her a note that you would like to have this little wrench included with your purchase the inside of the cap shows a black plastic liner that helps seal the nib from drying out the cap posts deeply and securely and is one of the features i appreciated about my first n6 the pen is nicely balanced in the hand as that cap isn't inordinately heavy so it doesn't back weight the pen here again aesthetically i would have appreciated the cap band being red or uh, another red ring somewhere around the section to keep two red rings visible when the pen is posted or capped so when we're capped we have two red rings but when we're posted we're down to one it's a style thing the pen is plenty long enough and well balanced to write with posted or unposted i bought this pen from sally at her easy buy etsy store for 43 dollars us including six dollars shipping the long knife nib option is two dollars and thirty cents more than the ef and the f sizes now let's look at some size comparisons and here is the hongdian n6 with a hongdian n7 piston filler a narwhal nautilus piston filler in ebonite a schaefer icon and a twisby echo now let's look at them posted and here they are posted i use this schaefer icon a lot and i replaced the stock nib uh, with a mini food aid that writes like a dream and of course the narwhal nautilus doesn't post at all now let's look at them unposted and here they are unposted and watch tomorrow for my review of this new to me twisby echo with a stub nib now let's look at some measurements and i'll be back with a writing sample and we're back with the writing portion of the review this is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Hongdian N6 
N6, black, and it has a long knife. Architect. Steel nib. Let's check the wetness. Well, it's not very wet at all. I originally inked it with Jay Urban Shogun, but I found it wrote very gray and very dry. So I swapped inks to Ferris Wheel Press. Roaring Patina Black. And it's a bit better, but very little of the shimmer in this ink is apparent. So I might just swap again and use Eroshizuku Takesumi, uh, my go-to black or dark charcoal gray ink of choice. It is very smooth and wet and might complement this nib a little bit better. And here are some comparisons between the various black inks that I have. Uh, these three are shimmering inks. Here is the Ferris Wheel Press Roaring Patina Black. It has a red sheen, a copperish shimmer to it, and it shades to blue-black. Whereas the Shogun is a charcoal, deep charcoal gray, and has a copper or bronze, actually more of a bronze uh, shimmer to it, and a bit of a gold sheen. And the Stormy Gray is a gray color, a charcoal gray that has a gold shimmer to it. That and the Roshizuku uh, Takisumi is the extent of my black ink collection. Call me adventurous. The nib has a good deal of feedback to it and has this characteristic thin vertical and thicker horizontal you get from an architect style grind. It has slightly more drag going to the right uh, then it does going to the left, but I think I might just polish that out. Otherwise, it's very smooth when you write the Canadian alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, B, D, Q, R, S, T, U, F, W, X, A, and these are Canadian ABCs. So this nib with the vertical thin and the horizontal thick can be uh, considered functionally opposite to a stub. And here is a Leonardo uh, stub 1.1. And you can see it's opposite. The horizontal is thin and the vertical is thick. Now to line variation, well, the nib is very stiff, so you're not going to press it. And besides, you're getting some line variation just automatically when writing with this pen with no pressure because that's how an architect works. And this nib makes a vertical 0.4 millimeter line and a horizontal 0.7 millimeter line which makes it a western extra fine to medium broad or a Japanese fine medium to a medium broad. And for our quote, and for some reverse writing, It's a little bit scratchier, but it's actually keeping up and it's giving me a very thin line. So there's lots of versatility in this nib. And for some quick writing. Those skips in there were me missing the page. It's actually very nice. And that feed, I'm sure it's ebonite, that feed is keeping up very nicely with that line. So what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? Well, 
All the same things I liked about the gold cap version of the N6, I still like about this stealthy black version. How it posts, the nice thick section, the clip, the ink window, and the ink capacity. And add to that list this architect nib and the overall black and red visual vibe. As to my concerns about the pen, well, Hongdian answered one of them, nib choice. One of the reasons I don't write with either my N7 or my other N6 was that they're just a little too fine aligned for my writing style. But with this long knife architect, it's really in my wheelhouse. I like the lazy man approach to line variation. It requires no effort on my part. Come on, Dad. Let's go on the water slide. <sighs> I can't fit. I'm afraid I'll get stuck. I'll just go in the lazy river. But, Dad... No, son. This is the life I've chosen. When your day is long And you show you I was concerned before that I needed a special tool to disassemble and clean the pen. But thanks to Sally, I have one and it was free. I was on the fence about whether this feed was ebonite or not, but now I'm convinced it is in fact ebonite. And I'm also convinced that I'll get better ink flow when I switch this ink out to Iroshizuku Takisumi. So if you like cigar-shaped piston fillers with a large ink capacity, a large ink window, and a stealthy black silhouette, and a very cool line character, this might be one you should try. At 40 bucks, it won't break the bank, and you can rest assured it isn't a copy of a major Western corporation that you hold dear in your heart. I mean, this piston mechanism isn't even close to being a Pelican, Twisby, Moonman, Narwhal, Tianzi knockoff. So the intellectual property police probably won't come after you in the middle of the night and you can sleep easy. It's the JCPenney Thanksgiving Day Parade. The JCPenney Parade? Yeah, it's like the Macy's Parade, only without licensed characters. With the popular balloons we all know and love. Mickey Rabbit, Sponge Cow, and Clifton, the small blue dog. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Gold Spot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Gold Spot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra cost to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comment section. You'll get cool emojis and badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say... Thank you... for watching... And that's all she wrote. I made this.